Hey guys, I am at Sonic. I'm gonna show you um, what I got. Um, there we go, can you see, I see that? See this lusciousness? Um, I got some mozzarella sticks. Got me some mozzarella sticks. I got a foot long, um, let's see, that's a, there's a foot long chili cheese dock and some fries. And I also got me a nice nerd slushy strawberry lemonade. I normally get great, but I decided to do strawberry lemonade. Thumbnail. So I'm going to pray and then I'm going to go ahead and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food we're about to receive for the nourishments of our body in Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. And that's my sister. She's not on camera right now because... Um, we didn't feel like making all those adjustments, so you're just gonna see me um, today. But, and I'm gonna, I'll show you guys uh, my chili cheese dog up close. I was so upset because I wanted the cheese steak. They had a um, cheese steak with tater tots. Um, and unfortunately, it's no longer um, here. So I don't know if that was just a special or what. Y'all don't work, don't pay attention to what I got on. You know, as you guys will see, um, we've been moving Shania in and out. So, excuse me, moving Shania in to her college apartment, to her apartment. She's going back to college. And um, so I just got on some leggings and a t-shirt um, so I could be comfortable because I knew we was going to be moving and all that good stuff. So, you guys want a bite? Look at that pool, guys. Look at that cheese pool. Mm, mm, mm. That this was so good. What y'all doing today? What y'all eating now? Tell me in the comments what y'all eating now. So. We have left Shania. She's all moved in. Well, she still got them. And get everything organized to her liking. She was pretty much kicking us out. This is our junior year, so it's not as sad as it was when we first took her, but of course we had to say our see you later, so I'm always sad when we do that. Let me get to this big boy here. Crack the window, guys. I, hopefully the music wasn't in. I don't want to get copyright. Even though I couldn't get my cheese steak, I did get the the big boy here. Foot long chili cheese dog. This is so messy. It's gonna be so messy, guys. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting ready to just go for it. to my napkin. But you know how you have your mouth set for something else? I have my mouth set for that cheese steak <laughs> with the jalapenos. Mm. I first saw when um, B-Love did a mukbang with the and I'm like, oh, I got to go get that. So I did, loved it. I've gotten it a few times. And today, they didn't even have a clue what I was talking about. But the girl was nice enough because I, I was like, well, maybe I'm saying it wrong. So I Googled it. So when I pulled it up, she actually came out to my car and um, was like, yeah, I've never seen that before. So 
This is the strawberry lemonade with the nerves in it. Yeah, the nerves is what makes it. Like I said, I normally get great, but I love strawberry lemonade, so. And it's good. Y'all, can't wait to get home so I can watch the shot in Canaan. Well, I think the shot gone off, isn't it? I think last week was this the, the finale, I mean, the break or whatever for the season. Um, the Canaan I can watch. I don't know. I don't think the shot. I don't know. Could be one more episode, but I think last week was it. To the next season. Which I think. What's his name? Dutta. You think he do them? Think he really gone? Y'all, it is hot today. Mm-mm. The wind's coming out. Mm-mm. It's hitting the spot, but again, it's... Actually, gave me a peppermint. You know, right. um, they gave you a peppermint. Yep. <laughs> That's the last time you did not eat them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they counting, they chili cheese counting. It was always a win. I still think about that cheese stuff, so. Are they out of it? I guess they don't have it here no more. Hmm. Oh, y'all. When I'm looking at the menu, I didn't see it, but I wasn't too disappointed because I don't think it was ever, like, on the menu. It just was, like, flashing on the screen when you order. But I also wonder... If it was seasonal or is it just not at this location no more? So, I'm going to have to find out. If your mozzarella sticks don't have no pull to them, they not right. So if you cooked a, a nice dinner today, this probably is not a formal Sunday meal, but it is what it is. We're hungry. We're on our way back. We're at the stop. Cause we're, I'm from the Indianapolis area. Um, The Sonics are more in the suburbs. They're not in the inner Indianapolis area. So when I see one, baby, I got to stop. <laughs> and then my sister got a chicken, crispy chicken sandwich with tater tot. Is it good? Mm -hmm. She said it's good, child. <laughs> so we hungry so that's why we doing a lot of eating and, and not a lot of talking so you guys got your kids back to school my daughter um like i said she's starting her junior year of college and then my my the baby of the bunch my son 
he is um, starting his senior year. Of, he's not starting. He has. He is in his senior year of high school. So, ooh, excuse me, said the pig. Um. So he's. This is his. Let's see. He started school. Let me think. The end of July. So what is this? His. What is this? His going into his second week, I think? Or is he going into his third week? He was like, um, the 23rd, he started like the 23rd or the 24th of July, so. He, um, uh, he's been in for a little bit. My daughter, she's taking an intercession class. The school doesn't actually start till I think, the 23rd of August or something like that. I think they got like two more weeks before the fall semester starts. So she has an intercession class that is nine days. I think she's doing a musical theater class, I believe. Um, in her words, it was an easy credit. So um, she is was ready to live her best life. You know how it is when you go from being in your own place to you back at home. Not that she's wild or want to get buck wild or nothing like that, but you know how it is when you're young and you just want to get back into the hustle and bustle. So, I think she was ready to get back into the hustle and bustle. And then, oh, excuse me, with COVID, um, she's really not had a full, like, traditional year. You know, like last year, they were online the entire year. Her freshman year, she started, and then that's when COVID hit. So she had to come home. Um, when we went and got her for spring break, she came home for the rest of the year. So um, her school did require um, a COVID vaccine to come back, and they are opening up. So I think she's hopeful that she will have a little normalcy, although, as we know from the news, the Delta strain, and I think it's... Is it called the Lambda? But I think the Delta is the more aggressive one. The mutations that have come up. Um, so, these numbers are, you know, the cases are on the rise again. So, I'm, I'm we're prayerfully that, you know, she can, um, you know, have a whole year. But, you know, you just never know. You know, the, the main thing is keeping everybody safe. So, you know, I'm not a person that, you know, I know some people believe in the vaccine. And I've talked about this before. Um my son just got his first COVID shot on Friday, this past Friday. Mm -hmm. So he still has to get his second dose. Once he gets his second dose, everybody in my household will be fully, my household will be fully vaccinated. And for the most part, our fa our family, um, I should say immediate family. Um, I have a few family members that, um, you know, are not gonna get the COVID shot, the vaccine. And I know um, some people are not. But what I thought was interesting, they sent us um, numbers at work um, because I work in, I'm not in the health industry, but I work for um, insurance, state-sponsored insurance. And so they have um, a COVID update and updates from the CDC. And I think it was, it was, and don't quote me, it was either 99.5% or 95.9%. But what, it was either one of those numbers saying that out of all the people who have died from COVID, either 99.5% or 95.9, whichever way that's a high number, have been unvaccinated people. So, one thing that, you know, a lot of people say is, well, you still can get it if you get the vaccine. Yes, it's just like, but it's just like um, the flu shot. So, you know, we all know about the flu shot. You get the flu shot, but you can still get the flu. But what the flu shot does, it, le it lessens your, it reduces your symptoms. And it's the same thing with the COVID vaccination. Yes, it's possible that you could get the COVID um, and you're, you know, fully vaccinated. But the chances of you dying from it are very slim. Um, you know, and so I also want to say, because I've been, I am a big fan of B-Love. And I've said this before. I am a huge fan of B-Love. So I watch her every, you know, I watch her every day. And I do want to take a moment to let her to stop and say, um, I do want to lift her family, um, as you guys may have seen, if you are, if you keep up with, uh, 
you know, the social media influencers such as Beloved, and you know, if you are, are subscribed to her channel, you know that her son Dalvin um, tested positive for COVID and has been in the hospital for a couple of weeks now. Um, and so we just want to say that, you know, B, we are wishing Dalvin, um, we're wishing him well. We are keeping him in our prayers and your entire family. You know, I watch her every day and first of all, she hasn't been posting every day like she had been. And when she posts, I can just tell from her energy and everything that, you know, because she's a mom and I'm a mom. So I just want you to know that I, you're in my thoughts and prayers. And, and I want to shout out Darius because he's been really, really supportive of his, of his mom, helping her with her videos and things like that. You can tell this has been a very, very huge toll on her. So we just want to keep that family in our prayers and any other families that are going through, um, hard times right now because of the COVID. You know, you guys, whether you believe in the COVID, um, the getting vaccinated or not, make sure you wear your mask. Not just for the safety of you, but the safety of everyone else. Whether you're vaccinated or not, wear your mask. Um, I'm fully vaccinated and I do wear my mask and I do believe in wearing masks. We have to do our part. You know, this thing is very much real. It is very much real. Um, and I've told you guys before, I, from December, really November to December, November through January it was a tough time for my family. We lost a lot of family members due to COVID. So if you think it's a joke and it can't happen to you, baby, it can. It, it really can. It don't. It, COVID does not discriminate. So whatever your best practices are, whether you're going to get vaccinated or not, do what you can. You know, try to avoid large crowds if you can. You know, I know we can't live in a bubble and we have to live our lives. And yes, I am a believer. I'm a Christian. So I know that Jesus um, has our best interest at heart, but we also have to utilize a little common sense and a little common courtesy. Um, wear your mask if you're not going to do anything else. And if you are afraid of the COVID vaccination, do some research on it before you just say, no, I'm not going to get it. So that's my spill on that, and I'm going to let that go. But um, I'm going to finish this up, guys, because we got to get back on the road so we can get back home before it gets dark. You want some muscle roll sticks? Mm -mm. No, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I gotta use the restroom. Hmm. <laughs> Is there one in there? I'm gonna try to wait. Oh, okay. Um, I used it before I left my daughter's apartment. But it is what it is. <laughs> so what shows are y'all watching? Tell me some shows y'all watching or some movies y'all watched. Looking up master day, guys. I washed it and I've been vlogging this weekend, so you heard me say I washed it. I'm I washed it, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I did go get it lined up and that sort of thing. Um, so tonight I'll probably twist it up so it has some type of shape to it. And I'm also gonna straighten this on, iron it, straighten it soon because my hair I have so much shrinkage in my hair. Now my hair, of course, as you can see, is short, so it's not gonna be down my butt or nothing like that. But I am gonna um, go get it blown out and straight and, and ironed out by my stylist so we can kind of see the length that it really actually is. Um, the reason why I don't wear it straight in the summer is because when it's hot, it's not gonna do nothing but, but boof up and be, you know, so, um, it's a waste of time pretty much. It, it'll probably last one day, if that. So that's why, um, but I'll wear it more straight, probably in the winter, in the winter. I'm also thinking about getting it braided too, because I'm trying to get it to grow out. Um, I had to get it cut, because um, I had some braids, and you know, sometimes when you don't take stuff out the right way and things like that, but I had a whole experience. I'll, we'll talk about that on another video, but 
I had to get it cut. Um, I was already natural, so that wasn't anything new, but I had to get it cut. And then, of course, you saw when we added the color. So. I was good, guys. Mm -hmm. And I have gotten full. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I'm trying to see this for the trash. I ain't gonna have to wipe the trash. I'm gonna put this in there. Because <laughs> I want to save my fries and my... Is that trash? Yeah. And mozzarella sticks. Mm -hmm. Um... Just throw it out when I get to your to my mom's. Um, so, mm, 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 guys, I needed that. Now I can get back on the road. I should be home in about thirty minutes. Mm, mm, mm. So, when I get home. I am going to try on the two-piece outfit um, that I told you about earlier, and then I will do I will end the vlog with that. So, if you're eating, I hope you're done. If you're eating with us, I hope you're done. 